year. What's going on, everybody? It's Hot Pot King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I got a little bit of info that I want to drop to y'all real quick before So You Think You Can Commentate gets on. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the control stick. Y'all might not know what that is, but that's NBA 2K13's new ISO motion. Now, we all know about ISO motion in the years that we've had it, where you had the L2 trigger, you had to have the, all the moves with the left stick, you had to know the half circles, the full circles, spin moves, in and outs, behind the backs. And it wasn't noob friendly. And when I mean noob friendly, I mean that people that come to the game that know nothing about it, they're trying to pull off these moves and getting frustrated. They don't know how to work the game. They pissed off. They break the game. So what NBA 2K13 is trying to do is they're trying to bring in more fans by saying, hey, our game is noob friendly. You can do all the moves you want with the right stick. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking the right stick, but ain't that the shot stick that I shoot with? What they're doing is they're actually integrating the shot stick and dribble moves all into one. So basically think of it like this, you control your defender with the left stick, you control your defender's hands with the right stick. So if you want to dribble and all of that, do all these fancy moves, go ahead and use the right stick. And you can also shoot. So I don't know if there is a way where you can in and out behind the back all with the right stick and then move the left stick to the right and then do a nice little leaner with the shot stick. I don't know how it's going to go, I don't know how it's going to feel, but, but listen. I'm going to NBA 2K13 team up on the 15th. I got all the August 16th to play the game. I'm going to see how it feels. See, get all the feedback, you know what I'm saying, and give it to y'all. I'm going to let y'all know how it's going down. Because to tell you the truth, I don't know too much about it. All I know is it's called the control stick and that this is what they're bringing to the table. Now, the next thing I want to talk about, collisions, bumps bump animations everything that we hated and about nba 2k12 they're trying to dynamically change it in nba 2k13 which means you know when you used to go in for a euro step and your player will just get bumped and you're no foul they're going down the other end but your player is still going through the animation what they're saying is they fixed that to a point where as though if your player is going up for a euro step and he's going up with the right hand and he senses any you know type of bump coming or he gets bumped or he gets fouled he'll try to switch it up and go to the left hand in order to save the play and go to the line so what they're saying is there shouldn't be too many bump animations where your player gets hit and not fouled because what they're trying to say is this is real basketball they're trying to fix the way everything feels, the way it looks, the way it basically, you know, the outcome of everything. So they're saying that they're trying to fix it and that you won't get bumped as much as you did in 2K12. But when you do, look more for fouls. So with that being said, I don't want to get too much more into that because I don't know how it feels yet. But when I go to 2K13 team up. Trust me, I'm <laughs> I'm going in for all layups, dunks, all of that. I'm gonna see how the animations come out, see how see how many times I get fouled, and I'm gonna give all that info to y'all. Now, the last thing that I want to jump into, I know y'all been waiting for this is passing. Yeah, I said it passing. Now, with passing, there's one thing that you need to know. They, they're trying to improve it, right? For us, they're trying to improve it. <laughs> but what they're saying is. They acknowledge that it's been a problem in the past. They know that. They say that passing is one of the toughest, one of the toughest aspects of the games. And to address it, they got a team, a whole team dedicated to the gameplay engineer to passing alone. So what they're saying is passing tended to feel floaty. You know, and he explained why. He said, you know, the appearance of a passing catch it and it fell off. And, you know, they had to pass slow in order to, you know, ensure that some players would get it, even though the player was already in the right spot. And that's why people was able to pick it out of midair, come, you know, shoot for the ball and steal it. So what they're saying is they finally got the hold on passing and catching, which means that they fixed the problem. Um, they got greater chance of, you know, nice passes. They say that they didn't, you know, it's not going to be, you know, canned and stuff like that like before. But what they're saying is they realize everything that they had, you know, all the loose balls all, and all of that. So what they're saying is they fixed it. They, they got they got a game plan. And what they want to do is they want to show it to all of us, you know, show that they fixed it and all of that. And, and pray that we actually see that it's been fixed. So with that being said, when I go to the 2K13 team up, you know I'm going to be throwing full court passes. I'm going to be throwing passes from um, half court to the paint. I'm going to be throwing passes from the top of the key to the wings, to the paint, cutters, uh, nice little picking posts, um, picking rolls, picking pops. I'm going to be doing all the passing I can when I get there. 
So I'm going to get all that info to y'all. But this is our KC signing out. Wait for another video, man. It's a lot of info about NBA 2K13, and I got it. This is IKC signing out. Peace. Also, hit me up on Twitter if you don't know already, man. At iPod King Carter. That's where y'all can get at me. Peace.